Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale with vinegar the Keurig K-Cafe Smart Coffee Maker. So you may be getting a notification up here that says time to descale. You can descale it with white vinegar or the Keurig descaling solution. I'm gonna do a video for vinegar and I'll do a video for the Keurig solution also. So the quick start guide that comes with the coffee maker does not talk about descaling. You gotta go online to the Keurig website and get the use and care guide. Okay, so the manual says to descale it every three months or when you get the descale notification. So that descale notification will come on after 250 brews. There is a way to turn that notification off. Press these two arrows. You're gonna go into the settings menu, press Nix. That's Wi-Fi, descale mode. That's how we're gonna start the descale mode. But if we go to the next one, descale alert reminder is on. Press the K button and we can turn that to off the descale reminder will not come on. Press the big K to confirm, and then OK. Descaling reminder will not come on now. Now, if your coffee maker is not making the proper amount of ounces, like say you press eight ounces and it only brews six ounces, that could be a sign that it's time to descale if your coffee's not hot enough, if it's getting really loud. So inside, you've got a heating element. So this is aluminum, and that water's gonna run through there and get heated. Now, what happens is hard water is gonna start to close that opening off and you're not gonna be able to heat the water as efficiently. It could eventually clog it up to the point where you don't get any water out. Okay, so I'm gonna be using distilled white vinegar. You, should, you can use just regular white vinegar. So you're gonna get your water reservoir. The first thing we gotta do, we gotta take that carbon water filter out. Now you may or may not have this installed. You do not have to have it installed for your coffee maker to work. But if you do have it, we don't wanna to, want, to, want to run vinegar through it. Next, we're gonna dump out the water that's in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna dump 14 ounces of pure vinegar into the water reservoir. I'm also, we're gonna, we want a 50 to 50 ratio, so I gotta dump a, another 14 ounces, which is almost two cups of fresh water, water out of the tap. So now that's the proper one-to-one -one ratio. That's all we're gonna be using for this procedure. Now come over here, put the water reservoir on. Now these next steps are important. You have to run the procedure all the way through in order to get the descale notification to go off. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run that vinegar through the machine. Then the add water light's gonna come on. Then that's gonna tell us to add fresh water. Then we gotta run fresh water through it until it tells us it's all done. There's logic built into a circuit card. We have to follow those steps. So make sure there's no cake up in here. This is gonna remain empty. Come up here, let's go into the menu mode, press two, those two arrows simultaneously, go next, there's Wi-Fi, descale mode. This is how you start the descale mode. You might have a notification that comes on and says start, you can do it that way. We're gonna press the big K button, descale mode yes, confirm. It's gonna tell you to remove the water filter. We're using the 14 ounce bottle. You can use the two ounce uh, pouch, you gotta add a lot more water but we're using 14 ounces of vinegar. Empty the water reservoir, pour the descaling solution in. Okay, so it says make sure there's no cake up in, hit continue. Descale mode, hot water. You're gonna press this, the 12 ounce lit up on its own. Now make sure you got something that can hold 12 ounces of hot water. And then you're gonna press this. It's gonna dispense that vinegar and water through the machine. Now vinegar does have a little bit of an odor to it. You may even notice some hard water calcium deposits coming out also. And it says descaling mode, dispensing hot water. Okay, so it's finishing up with those 12 ounces. I'm gonna go throw that away. Now the 12 is lit up again and press the K button. Again, we're gonna run all of that vinegar and water through it until it tells us to do fresh water rinses. So if during this descale process, the, the Keurig shuts down and you can't turn it on anymore, like it loses power, check out my other video where I'm gonna show you how to fix it. We do have to open it up, but we can fix it. Okay, so there's the second 12 ounce dispensing. We gotta do another one. Okay, rinse reservoir. So there, it, it sensed the add water light. So see, it got down really low. Now it's not saying add water, but it sensed it. Now it says rinse reservoir and fill to the mark line a fresh water, brew a 12 ounce. So we want all the way to the max. We want to fill this up with fresh water. So now we've got a little bit of water and vinegar. We're gonna go rinse that out, wash this out with soap and water and fill it up with just fresh water. 
Again, don't touch the machine. Don't unplug it. Don't do anything. Don't lift the lid. Leave it just like it is. Okay, so the water reservoir, since that the add water light came on, it doesn't say add water, but it says rinse reservoir and fill it to the max line with fresh water. Now this is an important step. We wanna let it sit here. So I'm gonna go rinse out my reservoir, fill it up with, I've got it filled up with fresh water now. We're done with the vinegar. And I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna let it sit now for 30 minutes. I want this to cool down. I'm not gonna lift the lever. I'm not gonna unplug it. I'm not gonna do anything. I want it to cool down. After 30 minutes, then I'm gonna hit the continue button and we're gonna go through and do the fresh water rinses. Okay, we're all done with the vinegar. This is fresh water. You can put your um, water filter in if you like, but I'm gonna leave mine out till I'm all done. Okay, now I'm gonna come up here and hit the continue. Descale hot water, it lights to 12 ounces. This is flashing, click that. So these are fresh water rinses. Now vinegar does leave a little bit of taste and smell inside the coffee maker but it's gonna do enough fresh water rinses to get rid of that taste and smell. Now keep an eye on it. If your add water light, or say the logic doesn't allow you, like don't run your water reservoir dry, keep an eye on it. Running these Keurigs dry, so sometimes the logic board does not sense the low water and it will let you do another brew with it in really low quantity. It shouldn't do that, but sometimes it does. Don't do it. Don't run it dry unplug the machine you've got to start all over you can use just water this time but you do have to have the logic so you got to start the descale mode run it through and make sure that add water light comes on again you're not going to see the add water light comes on but it's going to tell you that the screen changes and says okay now it's time to do the fresh water rinse you have to see that because that circuit card in there now it's like okay now i'm on the fresh water rinses i'm going to do a certain amount of these fresh water rinses then I'm going to come out of descale mode and I'm going to turn that light off. Okay, so this is the end of the first one. So we got to do another one. All I do is press the big K button. Okay, so it's finishing up the second 12 ounces running through it. Okay, so it wants us to do another one. Again, all I'm going to do is press the big K button. We're still in descale mode. Okay, so we're finishing up with the third 12 ounce. Okay, so it wants us to do another one. Press the big K button. We're still in descale mode. Okay, so it's finishing up the fourth 12 ounce brew. Okay, so we're still in descale mode. It wants you to do another one. So we still got a little bit of water left in the tank. Again, don't run these dry. That's plenty of water to do another 12 ounce brew. Okay, so at the end of this one, see how the water's getting really low? At the end of this one, we should come out of descale mode. Okay, so we're finishing up with the last one. Descale complete. That's what you want to see. That turns the light off. Click finish, add water, and you're ready to go. Okay, so I filled the water tank up. Put your carbon water filter back on. It's a good idea to change that after every two months. Now again, your notification should have gone off. And you should notice that your coffee does taste a little bit hotter. We open it up here. Now it's ready to use. So I hope this video helped. If you could, please like and subscribe.